if you faint not. Who does the reefing? You do. I said, you do. Yes. I've never seen a crop of corn go jump in the barn. Amen. I've never seen a cow milk itself. Amen. Come on. Huh? Come on. Chickens do not deliver eggs to your breakfast table. That's right. Amen. I thought that was good. <laughs> in the church of Corinth, he said that, now another chance I'll do the Amplified, he says, he that planteth and he that watereth are equal. He that planteth, he that watereth. I've heard that. I've heard that faith message. Well, I can tell right now, with a lack of respect, you might have heard it, but you didn't receive it. Amen. Anytime you say, oh, I, oh, I read that Bible one time, long time, I read it a long time ago. Well, that don't mean you got it. That's right. Just Amen. hearing it one time is not enough. Amen. I said, hearing it one time is not enough. Amen. I said, hearing it one time is not Amen. enough. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Jump to your feet and shout real big. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, you know how I had to do that? Because if you don't have no joy in your heart, joy is the fertilizer. Yes, yes. Amen. I said joy is the fertilizer. Yes, amen. What's he going to have us do next? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so look here with me. I need uh, chapter, chapter 3, look verse 6. I have found a polished water. Uh, uh, you go down to verse 9. I said, you are God's garden. Husbandry. It was say, I'm God's, I'm God's garden. Say it again. I'm One more time. I've said it many times, but a lot of people don't realize it. In the new verse, he didn't put us back in the Garden of Eden. He put the garden inside you. Yes, come on. Yes. But you still got to guard it, just like Adam had to guard his garden yes. and keep the devil out of it. Amen. Do you know that God knew the devil was out there when he made that garden? Yes. God planted that garden. Yeah. God did what? God planted the garden. Amen. Oh, he believes in seed time and harvest. Yeah. He told the devil, you're going to crush his heel, but the seed of woman is going to stomp your head. Amen. Did Jesus come as a seed? Yeah. He did. Yes. What did he do when he came? He started preaching. What's he doing? Scattering seed. Amen. You know their seed can lie dormant? I think they found something in the, in the pyramids that's over 2,000 years old, and they planted them, they came up. Amen. You could have seed in your heart when you was in a, a kindergarten or Sunday school years ago. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Yeah. And you're sitting in church and somebody else watered, bam, here comes the seed. Yes. Amen. His seed never died. Yes. Let me tell you something about faith. Let's just say you, you step out of faith for a while. Yeah. Did you know you step right back in and hook up right where you were? Yeah. Now natural seeds are rock yes. and corrupt yes. and die. Yeah. But his seed never died. Amen. Huh? Glory. You just go right back and hook up where you were and just take right on off. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. I thought that was good. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wayside. It was say wayside. wayside. What is wayside? <laughs> Did you know you can hang around the things of God? You can work beside Jesus, hear him preach every day, and still be a crook. Amen. His name was Judas. Yes. Amen. Come on. Huh? Come on. It didn't penetrate. You didn't honor it. Yeah. You didn't respect it. Yeah. You didn't pay attention to it. So it just fell apart. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. I have, I have noticed people over years. And one individual, I'm thinking of, and, uh, and, he, and he smoked. And, uh, you know, smoking won't see you to hell. It just makes you stink. <laughs> and, uh, and it's expensive. Yes. And probably you just lost a lot of time. But anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time I get off on living and not smoking, he just he just turned the channel. Uh -huh. I know sometimes when I'm receiving an offering, he'll just turn the channel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some people don't like to hear. They'll just ignore it. Amen. Amen. Why submit to your husband? Uh -huh. Ignore. Uh -huh. Ignore. Yeah. Husband love you wife. Ignore. Uh -huh. Come ignore. On. Come on. Wayside. You don't respect enough to add it to your cart to your life yes. and change. See, belief must become behavior. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thought that was good. Amen. 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 Now, I'm going to talk about stony ground, but nobody don't throw no stones. Yes. Stonies of the old law. Yes. <laughs> Church of Corinth had all nine gifts of spirit manifestation. They did. Yes. Amen. Had all nine gifts. Yes. Yeah. Talking in tongues. Gifts of healing, working miracle, 
And Paul said there's envy, strife, uh -huh. and division among them. Amen. Can Christians have envy? Oh, yeah. brother, brother, brother. Are you kidding me? You can, your heart will grow whatever you yield to. Amen. Your heart will grow whatever you yield to. Yes. So the church of Corinth had envy, strife, division. When I said, I'm a Paul, I'm a Paul. Oh, no, I, I follow Peter. I'm Baptist. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm Pentecostal. I'm Word of Faith. Uh -huh. Come on. Huh? Division. I know some of the years I, this happened to me. I lived in Johnson, Missouri, for survival, and a friend of mine was traveling through. And after service, he said, they're talking to me about the altar. Service is over now. And there was two uh, ladies there. Uh, there was uh, uh, black ladies, uh, you know, and uh, very wonderful people. And uh, one of them went out in the car and, brought, and gave him $1,000 right in front of me. <laughs> he was just passing through. Yes. I was the preacher. Yes, come on. Why didn't she give it to me? Uh, come on. Lord told her to give it to her. It bothered me. I mean, it bugged me. Come on. So I know sometimes when I'm in someone's church and while they're struggling to make ends meet in the office two or three thousand dollars, it's hard to kick against envy. Yeah, yes. Because you need it so bad. Amen. Huh? Come on. But see, when there's no envy there, you say that if God did it for him, God will do it for me. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. But see, the enemy wants you to sow envy. Yes. Come on. Can't nobody get your blessing unless you let them. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to go down through these very slowly because I want you to be productive. God yeah. wants you to be productive. Yeah. He said, here you glorify the Father, you bear much fruit. Amen. Fruit comes from seed. Yes, glory. So, wayfarer seed, they didn't have enough respect. I've had people get up and walk out while I'm preaching. Slam the door. <laughs> I was in the old shoulder under my tent one night. Some people got up, walked out while I'm freezing, started in the car, ring, 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 peeled out. I got metal chairs. They started slinging around, ding, 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 ding. That's how the machine gun. <laughs> Do they not have enough respect? How are they going to, others are going to be interrupted? Come on, somebody. Amen. And so, but see, everywhere they go, Long life and success is hinged to honor. Yes, amen. First commandment of promise, Ephesians 6 and 2, honor your parents. They live long upon the earth and see good days. Amen. Proverbs says humility is hooked to wealth, longevity, and success. Yes, amen. What is humility? Not always have to have your way. Amen. Not always thinking you're right. One of the best fruits there is, very few people have, is the fruit of meekness. Yeah. Teachable. Yeah. Teachable. Oh, this is what I mean. Well, you could be wrong. Yeah. I ain't getting no way, man. Yeah. So I try to stay small and long eyes. Uh -huh. I try to listen even to harsh criticism yeah. to maybe find if they do have a point of interest. Then is there something wrong? I can change it? Yes. You always need somebody speaking into your life. Yes. Yes. You always. The highest form of love is not this. Baby doll, baby doll. Amen. Oh, baby doll. I know what you're going through. Yeah. I went through it myself. Now, highest form is correction. Yes, sir. Highest form of love is correct. If you love your children, you will correct them. Amen. Or else you will grow some hellions. Amen. And then mom and daddy can keep them. Yes. <laughs> huh? Amen. Wayside seed. Turn to Mark 4 and 4 if you have your Bible. Now this is, I, I will probably quote all three of them. Mark 4 and 4, Matthew 13, and Luke 8. So I'll go back and forth. Because they all tell the same story, but one of them adds a little bit more clarity than others do. The, the, the wayside seed is someone who won't take instruction. Won't take instruction. You know why? Yes. They think they know better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, preacher, uh -huh. if I was pastor, I'd do it like this. Yeah. You can't even work a gumball machine. Sit down. <laughs> Amen. Try to, try to tell the pastor what to do. Amen. Huh? 
Amen. I'm not condescending, but uh, Satan himself will come as an angel of our life. Yes. He will speak through ministers. He will. Amen. Yes. Not all preaching lines up with Scripture. Amen. Uh, they'll tell you what they think. Uh -huh. We ought to have enough humility, enough respect yeah. to put the Word of God first place Amen. and not how we feel about it, what we Amen. think of it. If the Lord says it, uh -huh. that settles it. Amen. Power of life and death is in your tongue, not Amen. here. He said that four times in Proverbs. It says your tongue is a tree of life. Yes. Well, what was in the Garden of Eden? Amen. Tree of life. Amen. Huh? Amen. So you can speak life or you can speak death by sowing seeds in your own heart. Amen. Amen. I don't like you preaching. You only have to suffer one more night. That's right. Come on. Just kidding, folks. Lighten up. So let's talk about a stony ground. Stony ground. What is stony ground? Now listen to carry. These are progressive. Wayfair, stony, thorny, good soil. Yes. Each one of them yes. don't mean it happened in one service. This is usually over a person's lifetime. Yes. Do you know almost everybody in this area at one time or another has heard the gospel? Amen. They yet they're out doing their own thing, running their own lives. Go about their own living. Wayfair. But they heard the gospel. Amen. They either heard it on radio, they heard it at a funeral. Almost everybody's heard some gospel at the funeral. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't respect it enough yeah. to apply it to their life. Yes. Hmm? In my own life, uh, I'm going to jump ahead to the next one Stony. You must say Stony. Uh, years ago, when I was, actually, before I was married, uh, I, would, I spent a couple of years just seeking the Lord, just seeking the Lord. And, uh, uh, almost day and night for two, two and a half years, getting ready for the ministry. Well, a friend of mine, I, we had a little, a little Bible study there, and I would we, talk scripture. Uh, his wife, one day, just jumped up and left him, took the kids, and run off to Arkansas. The week before, her and her husband had been painting the house. And she was out there, and she's wearing some pants underneath her skirt. And the local pastor come by and saw her wearing pants. So Sunday morning, come on. his sermon was on abomination of wearing pants. Yeah. She got up, went home, packed her clothes, went to the local minute market, got her a case of beer, caught a cigarette, and went to Arkansas. Amen. What happened there? What happened to her? She got offended. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. He was wrong for doing that. Yeah. But you ought to live a life like this. I receive no offense. Come on, come on. I give no offense. Amen. Amen. You can stand up and cuss me. I'm not gonna stop. Amen. Huh? Romans 3 said, What if some do not believe? I don't care. Amen. I don't believe in the Holy Ghost. I don't care. Right. Yes. You'll never have him. Amen. Your unbelief is not going to stop my faith. Amen. Amen. Glory. Yes. Huh? Yes. Glory. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. And did you know it, that that man came to my house, bawling, squalling? His life was over to him. And I'm telling you, he slipped that family up. Never did reconcile. Never did reconcile. Over an offense. Yeah. You probably know somebody that went to church yeah. and something went wrong. They didn't like They got offended. That action reveals what you can't see. Yeah, yeah. Action reveals what's in your heart. Yeah. If I haul off and slap you, that shows you I got something in my heart against you. Amen. If I haul off and give you a hundred dollar meal, that shows you I got something in my heart. Amen. Your action reveals the truth of your heart. Amen. So he said, Stony Ground heard the word. But again, didn't get deep enough to ever take root. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Yes. You'd be surprised. <laughs> These people that don't even go to church. I listened to one lady, and, and I was talking, I said, you know, a lot of churches don't have Sunday night anymore. She said, you know, that's right. She said, they don't have Sunday night. I thought to myself, you don't even go to church at all. <laughs> there she was, yeah. correcting them for not having Sunday night. She don't even go to church. Yeah. 